Hey guys, here we are in central New Jersey in Hunterdon County. We're going to be doing a little crossbow hunting and we're going to be looking to shoot a doe. Um, it's an old food plot that was planted in spring and the deer devoured it. They keep coming back in. There's a lot of good game trails in there and uh, we put a game camera out at night. We've been seeing some good action here so it looks like a good place to set up. So come along with me and let's see what we can do. As you can see, it's grown over, like I said. It was planted with clover and practices in here, and we put a couple of very young apple trees. And it's actually on the back side of a garden. And um, this is a small plot. It's about maybe 80 yards long by 30 yards wide. And they devoured it this summer. Um, but it's still coming up a little bit here and there. Uh, you know, we planted some apple trees to hopefully they're gonna grow the deer don't get them first so we need to take a couple of um, deer out of this area um, there's a lot of does and uh, we just checked the, the trail camera and there is a, it's pretty maxed out so we know there's a lot of activity out here and then um, like I said you know hopefully a doe comes out and get a little backstrap booking going on we do have a tag to take a buck if it comes out, but we are looking to get a doe out of here. So, time to whack them and stack them. Another thing about this spot and this ground blind is there's about one, four major trails that walk into this little food plot area. It's still so thick that it's hard to see them coming in, so we gotta be real quiet. You know, it's hard to get them on camera. This is an almost so filmed on. We're gonna try. Rumors spreading round in that Texas town. About to check outside the game. You know what I'm talking about. Just let me know if you're gonna go. Oh my God, the rain. They got a lot of nice girls. Huh? I'm racing.
All right. Looks like we got a decent size doe. Not real big, but you know she was mature enough to take. <clears throat> the other one that came out, she was she was a big big girl, and she had triplets with her. And then there was another big girl, but she walked off. And then uh, after that, uh, that little four point came in, so we're gonna definitely let him go. But uh, oh, well, that was neat. I mean, and the, the, the mother with triplets, uh, two of them were bunk bucks, so that was nice to see. And um, yeah, I just had those other does there. And you know, not the biggest doe in the world, but again, it's a great one for the freezer. That's what we're looking for, and we need to get rid of some of these. So uh, I think we had a real solid hit. She was only 15 yards. Looked like she was on the other side of that thick stuff, but it looked like a solid hit. So um, we're going to give her a little time, and then we're going to go follow it up. So stay with me. Yeah! Oh, I love it. Well, this is where we hit the deer. You can see she's leaving a great blood trail for us. And she got hit real hard. Looks like real good blood. I mean, just great, great blood trail. That, that broadhead really did the job. You know, she's heading off in that direction, so we're gonna go ahead and try to trail her. tell you, New Jersey hunting is great. Yeah. She's a good doe to take off this land. I mean, the entrance wound is, is amazing. I mean, it's a two inch, it opens up and uh, I had some spinal surgery and thank God New Jersey legalized a crossbow to hunt with last year. And uh, I had the surgery done earlier this year and it's been a lifesaver. It actually gets me out here to hunt. and. Uh, a great deer. I'm real proud of her. She didn't go 50 yards from where she was hit. I say even 30 yards. And uh, it's a beautiful New Jersey deer. So we're going to tag it and bag it and, and get her out of here. And uh, well, I still got some daylight. And uh, thanks for coming on my hunt. Yeah. And now I'm going to show you how, uh, <laughs> how a guy that just had some spinal surgery get a deer out of the woods and put it in the back of the truck since you're limited to lifting so many pounds and so stay with me <laughs> all right Next, I'll show you how you put it on a lifted truck. How you put a deer in the back of your pickup truck when it's lifted and you just had spinal surgery and you're not allowed to lift over 40 pounds. Well, I'm going to say this deer probably gutted about 65. Uh, thanks for hunting with me. I wish I had a little better football ball coming in, but like I said, it was so thick and uh, they were just right there and, uh, and just what a great hunt. Uh, unfortunately, no big bucks, but We'll take this dough like we wanted to, so thanks for hunting with me. All right.